Hey everyone. All right, so today we are finishing off your lesson eight classwork. So we're actually gonna start in your classwork packets. All right, um, so there you are. All right, so uh, go ahead and get that out in front of you. All right, pause if you need to. We're going all the way back to lesson number eight, which is what you worked on yesterday. And there's a few things that we wanna point out to you. All right, so first of all, remember, sometimes we had a multiplication problem, like in question number one and in question number six. And sometimes we had division problems like in two, three, four, and five. So again, we do have to navigate. Um, the big thing to keep in mind is if it's a multiplication problem, we don't flip that second fraction. If it's a division problem, though, we do need to rewrite it as a multiplication problem, which will then make us flip that second fraction. All right. So uh, there's your lesson, the first page that we had you guys focus in on. Um, what we're actually going to do here is we're going to focus on a few things that are here. And um, if you notice, huh, there's only two division problems. Yeah. Okay. Two division problems. So um, question 10 and 11. So those are the ones that you're going to have to flip and you're going to have to rewrite them. So uh, keep that in mind. So let's go through a few of these other ones that we want to look at. So for example, let's look at question number 15. All right. Now, what we want you to be aware of here is that first one is a mixed number. So we do need an improper fraction. So let's multiply three times two, six plus two, eight. And so we've got an eight thirds. Okay. Now, the next one, it's not a mixed number. It's just a fraction. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. And there we go. So again, keep in mind, we don't need to flip it because it's not a division problem. We didn't need to make it into a improper fraction because it wasn't a mixed number. So again, we do have to be able to switch gears here based on what they've given us. All right, so do you see any cross division? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we can divide the eight and the 10. We can divide them both by two. So take that eight divided by two and you get a four. Take that 10 divided by two and you get a five. And that's it for cross division. Can't do anything with the seven and the three. So we're gonna multiply across. Hello, 28. Hello, 15. And there you are. 28 fifteenths is your answer. So again, we are going to have to do a little bit of investigating here from time to time. It's not always the same thing every single time. So they're not giving us the same problem every single time. All right. Um, let's do this here. Let's scan at... Okay. So, business as usual. Get some improper fractions, all right? We'll show you the one little wrinkle here, the one little difference here. It's not too much that's there. Um, so yeah, let's get all of our improper fractions here. So uh, three and an eighth, all right? So eight times three is 24, plus one is 25. Okay, 25 eighths, all right? Uh, five times one is five, five plus three is eight. All right, so it's eight fifths. Uh, two times two is four, four plus one is five. So it's five halves, okay? so. Multiplication, so there's no need to rewrite it all, okay? Um, we're ready to do some cross division. The big thing here is as long as someone's upstairs and someone's downstairs, we can do cross division. They don't have to be right next to each other. They can, but also once you use it, it's gone. So that's why we cross them out, so we don't double dip on them. So let's look at it. For example, I see the fives right here. I see the fives. Um, I can divide both of those by fives. So five divided by is one. Uh, check out the 8 and check out the 8. Yeah, I can divide both of those by 8. So, cross it out, divide it, divide it. 8 divided by 8 is a 1. Now, what we can look here is, is we can see if we can do any cross division with that 25 and that 2. So, the idea is you can skip across there. Um, I can't. I can't. That's it. Uh, 25 times 1 times 1. Hello, 25. Uh, 1 times 1. Times two, two, yeah, 25 halves. You're done, show's over, all right? So we can just do, we're just doing cross division, but just realize that you can use all three of them. Let's look at this next one that's here. Uh, two times four is eight, eight plus one is nine. So we get a nine fourths. 
Uh, five times one is five, plus three is eight, so we get an eight fifths. Uh, nine times three is 27, 27 plus one, 28, 28 fifths. Okay, is it a division problem? No, no, it's not. So no, don't flip, don't flip. All right, we're ready to go right to cross division. So what we want to notice here is check out those nines. Again, they're right, not right next to each other. As long as someone's upstairs and someone is downstairs, all right, doesn't matter which one there, as long as someone's upstairs and downstairs, we can do cross division. So what can you divide these nines by? We can divide them by nine. Nine divided by nine is a one. And there we are. Right? If I wanted to, I could go with the cross division with this four all the way over to the 28 if I wanted to. Okay, I could, but look at this eight. It's right there. So I'm going to make use of it because they're just right next to each other. Um, divide both of those by a four. So four divided by four is a one. Eight divided by four is a two. All right. And then, uh, yeah, I see a five down there, but I can't do the cross division with the 28. So let's multiply across. 28 times two. 50, 56. Yes. All right. And then one times five times one is a five. All right, so um, that's what we're after here. Uh, what I want you to do here is, so I take you for a little bit of a walk, um, we're gonna have you copy down what the correct answers are, because I don't think that they are in the answer key. Um, this is one that I typically have left uh, blank over the years. So um, what I'm gonna have you do is go back on up and you're gonna write down the answers right next to them. So let's head on back up. All right. Question number 10. All right. You should get five calls. All right. Question number 11. You should get three tenths. Question number 12. You should get 46 fifths. Come here. Oops. Oops. There we go. Uh, question number 13, you should get exactly 21. And for question 14, you should get 14 fifths. Okay. Um, again, we do need the work that goes along with it. So I should be seeing improper fractions, or I should be seeing cross division. Um, questions that are multiplication, 14, 13, 12. Don't rewrite them. They're already a multiplication problem. Questions 10, 11, ooh, that's division. I need to rewrite it. Um, I can let you know that on Friday, um, we will be submitting all of lesson number eight. So that is something we do want to have completed. So if you do notice that, ooh, I have not finished the first page, that is something that we are after. Um, again, you do have answer keys for those particular problems to get those checked. Um, let me know if I can uh, answer any questions for you. All right, check in with me, email, office hours, all those good things. Um, enjoy.